Well I've got a fair bit of hardware work still to do but um, I've been thinking about starting to think about the programming as well, in fact experimenting with the programming of the buttons and switches. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on that later because it gets quite involved. But I've got three of the panels done and that's the main autopilot panel, I've got the start panel done and also the overhead and I've been experimenting really with hooking those up and programming the switches and it occurred to me that I could just about fly it around and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So we'll get our first taste of what this looks like in the air. We should be able to do it cold and dark to cold and dark without the keyboard. Um, so let's see how we get on. In the Twin Auto we're cold and dark. And I've got my keyboard here. I'm not going to use that, I'm going to put that to one side. Those birds are a bit loud. So we're going to go cold and dark to cold and dark without the mouse or the keyboard. We've got most of what we need set up. We've got a few compromises on the panel. Um, what can I tell you about that? We've got control lock on a button here. We've got uh, the yaw damper which is on the centre, the lower console. So we've put that on a button temporarily here. We don't have the fuel panel so we've got the fuel boost pumps replacing the emergency fuel cutoff switches on the fire panel. Apart from that, pretty much we've got everything we need. So let's do it. We're going to take off the control locks. We're going to put the beacon on. We're going to go for DC master on. Then we're going to select the DC source of battery. Now you should have seen things come to light there. What you see that's slightly anomalous is these radios are on, these are controlled by the Elite Windows driver and I can't basically control those independently, they come on with the DC power as does the Cytec radio panel which is under the control of SPAD, you can't see that's down to my left. What else can we do? We can do the fire detection test, we can't do the full test because the mute button's on a panel which I haven't implemented yet. I can't get the fire extinguishers to work incidentally at the moment, I need to look into that. Hopefully we're not going to need those anyway. Alright, so we're going to do the engine start. I've got the track IR disabled at the moment just because when I reach up for the switches my hand blocks the sensor and it goes a bit haywire. We've got to make sure the fuel levers are off. Props we want from fully forward. Power levers are at idle. Boost pumps on. OK, then we can go ahead and start the right-hand engine. So we put the start switch to the right. We're looking for at least 12% gas generator RPM on the right-hand engine. Then we can introduce fuel. There it goes. I can let go of the start switch. So that engine's coming up nicely. Same for the left-hand engine. Start switch to the left. Looking for 12% or more. Then we can put fuel in. There it goes, I can't go with the starter. So we can have the truck IR back now. So now the engine, engines are online, we can put the generators online. If you watch the indicators here, if I just pause that, uh, if I turn on the left generator, the indicator goes out, right generator. That indicator goes out as well. We should look at the voltmeter, we should see a, a change in the voltmeter as well. If we can do with some flaps, so we've got flaps 10, indicator here, very slow. You don't get much of a sound with the flaps in this, I might try and sort that out. Uh, we need the auto feather system to be armed, if you watch the indicator here, that's armed now. Put the landing lights on. Our transponder is on. I'm going to put the strobe light on. Not much to see, obviously. But the last thing I'm going to do is, I don't know if you'll see it in the video, I want to set the altitude alert using this dial here. It's currently at 3000. I want to set it to 2600. That's because field altitude is 600. This will alert 1000 feet before 
the programmed altitude, so it should alert at 1600, which is circuit height. That's just a helpful mnemonic when I'm coming back to the airport. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're going to take off to the east, fly over the town, so we need to be heading west on the way back. Okay, here we go. set the rudder takeoff trim but I'm not doing that just for this test Trim wheel's not very well anchored at the moment, so it's <laughs> so 120. I'm now going to select indicated airspeed hold and engage the autopilot. It's actually about 125 there. I've crept around to the south there. I'm not really watching what I'm doing. We're still going up. That altitude alert. Come back a bit more on the power. You can see I'm adjusting the seat height here as well with this rotary control. This helps us get a better view. I'm just going to turn off the yaw damper. That looks, makes me turn slightly more assertively. You can see it's trimming like mad, this autopilot, to hold the airspeed. Because I'm flying kind of sloppily. So I'm heading back towards the airport and I'm going to get ready to come down basically. So I'm going to come back on the power. I'm going to come off autopilot at the moment. Slow it down. Props forward. There's the field down there, you may or may not be able to make it out. Let's go a little bit wide, so we don't have to turn too sharply at the other end. So we're essentially entering the circuit, although we're a thousand feet above it at the moment. Got the landing lights on. Up to 10. Turn off the yaw damper. I'm going to hook it round. I'm 
base leg now. We're going to go to flaps 20. down the side of this hill. It's got a flap 30. Oops, not watching how I'm going there. Flare them in a little bit high. We we'll go down, we can go reverse. Stopped it dead there. We didn't really want that, we want to taxi a bit. It's kind of hard to taxi on this grass actually, so we need a lot of power, probably more than we want to. If I just shut it down here as a way of illustration. So we want to put props to feather, generators off, fuel levers off, so the engines are gone, boost pumps are off, all the lights off. DC source to off, DC master off. And we're done. Control locks. Cold and dark to cold and dark. No mouse, no keyboard. Lots of treaty birds.